Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So today I want to talk about my fairy decks. So this is a very, very new thing to me and I've accumulated a few decks as I want to really step my feet into this area. Um, also, I just love the ideas of fairies. I'll be honest, I was one of those kids that loved Tinkerbell. I had all the extra Tinkerbell movies and it was something I felt very attached to and I loved going to the bush and going to the camp and trees are really my thing. So it's something that I realized I really want to learn more about. And so I've gotten a few decks and I haven't really used them yet. Just two decks I think I've really played with a little bit. Um, but the other ones I haven't. So I want to show off what I've accumulated as I step into this whole fey realm. So let's get right into it. So these are all, yeah, actually all these bags are Peggy bags from Sparks Creations. Yep, actually all of them are. So first we've got a very familiar one. So we all know this one. This is uh, Hidden Realms. And it's a really gorgeous deck with close-up views of the people and it's very much a people-y deck with fey energy which is kind of how I see it is the people with wings and the elvish looking ears and that's definitely I see how I see fey energy so for me this is a really good deck and it's still in order because I haven't used it yet I'm excited to use it I just haven't gotten there yet, so that's why I'm trying to keep it in order a little bit. But yeah, this is definitely how I see a lot of fan energy. I definitely see wings. Um, I'm not going to pretend like I know a lot about this category because I don't. I'm literally just starting to step into it. Um, and I know there's a difference between fae and fairies. And I need to learn that, so I'm not going to pretend like I know anything, because I don't. But this is definitely, like, a really good interpretation of how I see it. And this is just so beautiful and earthy. And it feels really grounded. And, of course, archery, which we all know how much I love archery. That's so Like, that's a very sweet image. And that's kind of how I've interpreted the Fae, is it's very sweet and innocent, but fun-loving. I haven't really experienced, um, like, more of the, like, trickster side, as people would so call it. Um, so I'm interested to see if this will show me that side or not, how I will better connect with that energy. But yeah, this is... The Hidden Realms deck is beautiful. Oh no, my cards are getting twisted. And we all know how much I hate that. <laughs> like, that's... Uh, there's so much feeling in these cards. Like, even just looking at them and not even looking at the titles... You can tell there's just so much feeling in these cards. The va the faces have so many emotions. It's really, really well captured. Like, I almost could feel like, even if you cut off the titles of these cards, it could almost be like an oracle deck. And you could read it intuitively. Which, if anyone's done that, I would love to see it. Because I feel like this would be a really good deck for that. And the king. So that's uh, Hidden Realms. I'm not quite sure about all my bag matches here, but for now, this is what I have. So next up, we have, this is going to be a long video, in case anyone was wondering, I have quite a few decks here. Probably should get out the books here quickly, just so I can remember all the exact names of these decks. Give me a second.
So that first one was, um, yeah, Journey into the Hidden Realms. We are going to be going over the Fairy's Oracle, the Fairy Wisdom Oracle. Here we go. Uh, Mystical Fairy Tarot is, I believe, what this one is. Yeah, this is definitely um, a guide to myst Mystic Fairy Tarot. Blech. So I have tried out this one. Sorry about that little interruption, guys. But, you know, it is what it is. But this is really beautiful. So this is the one that I have played with a little bit. And they gave me really good, fun readings. I think it's really pretty. But this, I think, is, like, really close to how I envision fairies. With the wings and the ears and um, the colorfulness. This is definitely, like, the earthy version of how I would... S uh, how I see myself connecting out of probably most of these decks and it's just so sweet but you can see there's probably a little bit of trickster energy in there i haven't experienced it yet but i'm sure there definitely is and like as bright and as colorful as it is it's also almost like pastel-y or subdued a little bit which i think is interesting And it's got like, as much as it has a, probably a little bit of trickster energy to it, I also feel like it has a very sweet energy to it. And like, look at the little faces. They're just, they're so good. And there's like mermaid fairies, which is so cool. I never would have thought of that before, mermaid fairies. It almost feels like there's like a story I think there actually is a story being told in those cards. I haven't read it yet. I will admit, I'm not the best person to go ahead and read all the guidebooks. It's something that I want to start doing. Because it's not something I've really done. Like, I read the interpretation for the card that I pull. But I would like to, especially, like, decks like this where you can tell there's, like, a story going through, the, through it. I think I should be reading the story. Let me know if you guys have read the guidebook to Mystic Fairy Tarot by Barbara Moore. Let me know what you guys think of it. Oh, looks like a dragon. Oh, that's so pretty. I love all the mushrooms like the darkest card in the whole deck which makes sense it's the devil so that was that one where did my little bag go now my pile's too high with all the books <laughs> that's why i didn't pull the books out <laughs> probably So this is one that you all know and love, and I'm just not sure about. It's the Brian Froud, um, the Fairy's Oracle. So I would really like his other deck, the Forest Fae or the Forest Fairies. The first, the other one that he has that you can't find anywhere. That's the one I would much prefer, I think. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about these cards. I'm going to use them. I haven't gotten to them yet. As I said, I'm like really just stepping my toes into this environment. Um, but I'm not sure how I feel about these images. I know a lot of people say they have grown on them. I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about that. Um, so I guess time will tell. The backs creep me out a little bit, I gotta say. Like, that's not how I see my fae or my fairies or whatever. This is sweet though. Like, these are fine, um, but I think it's, I don't know, this deck has such a range in it of 
artistry that like I don't know how to I just don't know what to think about it to be honest like I know like this is nice this is nice eh, pretty but then like what's with the butt like I don't know I just I know it's a very, very beloved deck, so please do not come for me. But I'm just not sure how I feel about it. I guess once I start working with it, I'll know. But I definitely think I would prefer the other deck over this one. And you know, you can always pause if you want to look at a card a little deeper. I know this deck is all over Tarot Tube. Um, it's a well-beloved deck. I know even Danny Mystic had questions about it at the beginning, I believe she said. And so did Lisa Papaz. A lot of people did. Like, that, yeah. So I don't know. I'm not sure what I think. But you know, I bought other decks and wasn't sure and then fell in love with them. Like, that's cute. In a weird way. Again, cute in a weird way. It's a nice big deck. Like, 65 cards is really, really great. So, I'm definitely not going to edge this deck until I figure out if I like it or not. That's for sure. Alright, so, the next one I love and I played with, along with the other one that I said I played with. So, this is... The backs are so sweet. I love these backs. They're gorgeous. Let me get out the book. So I played with this with the a Mystic Fairy Tarot is the one I played with this that I thought would go best with this. So this is the Fairy Wisdom Oracle. And it's a nice hardcover book. But I, again, I love those backs. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm just getting over being, well, I'm still technically sick, but... This is a big deck. Like, I think there's over 50 cards. I love, love, love this imagery. This is definitely the way I see things. This is actually a little more, I want to say punky. Like, I just, oh, it's like, it's like edgy fairies is the way I look at this deck. They're edgy. And they're fun. And I love, like, the the names of them are great. They're really, really good cards. I really, really am enjoying them. Oops. Like, even, like, Magic Fish. Like, they're really good. Hummingbird Dreams. Magic Frog. And there's, like, the Four Seasons in here. Like, this is definitely, if my imagination was running away with me, this is how I would see things. So I think that's also what drew me so well to this deck. Like, look at the tattoos and the fun hair and the, they're not even just like plain wings. Like, there's so much detail to the wings and the shapes of them and the colors in them and, Yeah. This is definitely the deck that's up my alley when it comes to oracles and the fae, or the fairies. Since I'm going to say both since I'm getting used to this, but it is the fairy oracle, so I guess I should be saying fairy. Like the flirt, <laughs> discovery, when fairies go bad. <laughs> Like chakra fairy hmm but yeah I definitely definitely love this deck so I will need need to be edging this deck soon so we're down to I think three decks yeah we're down to three so this is one I just got in and I do believe it is somewhat in the realm of the fae but I definitely look at this like a spring deck. This is actually a French deck that came from France that I got on Amazon. It took a while to come in, but it did come in. So it's all in French. 
and I do believe it's part of the fae or fairy world. Um, but I also like look at this as a major spring deck. Like, I totally could use myself using this in the spring. And it comes with a nice guidebook. It even came with like a, I think like a canvas bag or something. Like, this is giving me all the spring vibes. I love the colors. I love it. It almost looks like portals that you're looking into. I love the, like, rustic writing. And you're like, it feels like you're following this girl through a journey. At least so far. Like, I'm not a big fan of nudity, but this nudity doesn't bother me for some reason. Feels very natural, very whole, very. It's, it doesn't feel in your face like, oh, here's the nudity. Like, look at that. Oh, so pretty. It's actually the first time that I've looked through the whole deck. Um, actually, a few of these, it's the first time I'm looking through the whole deck. The ones that I haven't touched, only I only worked with two. So the other ones all, this is the first time I'm actually sitting down to look through the whole deck. Cauldron. So this is putting them in the orders of numbers. So you see other two twos and twos. Three. Oh, that must be the three of swords. Yeah. Three of batons. Three of coops. Makes sense. Three of pentacles. Makes sense. Like it's totally flowing with the energy. But you can see how like with the... Tr I feel like with the foliage on the person... And that's what makes me think of fey energy. But it also makes me think of spring energy. Like, oh, it's just so good. And this cardstock is really nice. It's definitely thicker. And feels buttery. Like, not like overly buttery where it'll stick. It might stick a little bit. But it's very smooth. But it's not overly it's slippery. It's just nice and soft gotta say it's nice card stock and yeah this video is gonna be a long one I just figured I might as well do the flip through of these decks on camera with you and instead of making a whole bunch of separate videos I figured I'll just do it in one video and then I can start using these decks and then if you want to see how they're working out for me I totally can do that just let me know if you're interested in that But yeah, and again, this is very watercolory feeling, which we all know I love that. Wow. Let's, uh, this will be the pages. Um, the Knights are Cavalier. I do know a little bit of French, which is why I wasn't scared to get this deck. Um, I do have some French in my background. So that's why I said with the guidebook, I probably could get enough out of it to make this deck work for me. The Queen, Desiree. And I know I'm probably butchering it. My French isn't great, but I said I have some French in my background. Yeah, those were really nice. I think I'm going to really enjoy that deck. It definitely, like, is not, I guess, more fey. I, I don't You guys can let me know. And I thought this was a really sweet bag match. With the brown and the hearts and all the integral stuff in the hearts. I thought that was a pretty good bag match. And it did come with a guidebook that I believe is like bigger than the deck. If I'm remembering correctly. Oh man, my pile is totally falling over. So this is a deck that I'm going to go a little quicker with. Um, I did show this deck off in a TikTok, I believe. And this is a deck that's very, very well known. Um, it's just totally new to me. And I'm not going to use this as like a tarot deck. I'm going to use this more as like um, an oracle deck, I think. And it comes with a chunker of a guidebook. So that's always nice. 
Um, so it's like the four seasons, I believe, are what's in here. But I'm definitely going to be using this. Like, I've already shuffled this, as you can tell. Um, I pulled it a card or two a few times. Not a lot, but just a few times to play with. Um, so I definitely am using this more like an oracle, like pick a card at the end of the night or first thing in the morning and see what messages it has for me. That's definitely how I'm looking at this deck. And you can tell like each suit is color coded. So I'm not going to go through this whole one because this is one that everyone has seen a thousand times. It's a Radley Valentine deck. Um, some of the images I'm like meh because it is an older deck right so it's digital imagery type of collage sort of thing going on so it could be better but it's not the worst and I just thought it would be fun to have in my collection and pull this is the only Radley Valentine deck I own so it's one I thought that I could use as like an oracle versus being a tarot just because they have such like expansive keywords on the bottom here like it's like a whole paragraph and it's season based so i thought that would be fun i might even put it back in order and then pull out the season as we're in that season with the, and mix it with the majors that might be interesting let me know if you guys ever thought of that i think it might be a fun way to use this deck but i'll have to edge that eventually all right on to our very last deck which i'm super excited i literally got this in i think yesterday and edged it and i'm ready to use it and i think it goes in this bag beautifully and it is the for Hoxa tarot by mj kulanane and i'm not going to keep it in this box i just did it for this video so plain inside the box and the same on the bottom Now it does come with like a nice guidebook. That gives you like a good page on each thing. And I did edge this deck. I love it. I think that the color turned out really good. I picked up this orangey color from the back and I thought it would really, really pop on the edges. So let me know what you guys think. I thought it would be a really good contrast and pop, especially from the colors in the deck. So let's walk through this deck. This is like what started this whole video. I wanted to do a fairies video, but I've been waiting to do it until I got this deck. So this is like, I've kind of flipped through it a little bit, but they have changed some of the card names. So I'm gonna have to get used to that. Like, I know they changed uh, the Monarch, which I think is the Hierophant, right? Or is that the Emperor? No, that must be the Emperor. So the Monarch is the Emperor. Let's see what else they changed names of. But these are so pretty. They definitely feel like Fairy Fae energy. Um, but it also almost feels like a good deck that I could do love readings with or magical work with. I don't know. I just feel like this is a really open deck that I could do a lot with. And not just worry about it being like fan energy. It also feels like a really good like August, September death deck. Um, just color wise. So it is um, Earth instead of pentacles i love all the brightness with the darkness it looks so good and then page knight queen and then elder instead of king because i believe this is like a very female centric deck from what i can tell okay so instead of cups we have water oh look at that two of cups or two of water Our pile is getting out of control. This whole video is a little out of control. Let's be real. 
Um, okay, so then we go from swords to air. But, I don't know. This is just really exciting to me. I was really on the fence about this deck for a while. The more I looked at it, and I didn't look hard at it. I just looked, you know. I just wasn't sure if the art style was for me. But then I was like, you know what? I'm going to give it a go. And I'm really glad I did because I think it will work out good. The wands would be fire. I can definitely see all the fire energy. Um, but yeah, I think this deck is going to work out really well. And I love the like lizards. I'm even trying to not look too hard at the imagery. I love the borders though around the um, core cards because I want to explore it on my own. But yeah, that is the Farhawksa Tarot. So that wraps up all of my Fae type of decks. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was super fun to make. Um, now that I've went through all these decks, I can start using them at my own prerogative. And don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you around Tarot Net Plans on YouTube, uh, Tarot Tube, TikTok, Facebook group, Twitter sometimes, and mostly Instagram. So until next time, bye guys.